Hello everyone and welcome back to B-Haptics. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to install and use the brand new B-Haptics mod for Echo VR. Echo VR is one of the most popular free games for Oculus, and even though this mod is in the beta version, it already makes Echo VR so much more immersive. You can feel other players grabbing onto your body. You can feel the speed as you fly through the zero-g environment and then slam into the walls with a rattling shake. Awesome haptics for creating your shield from enemy impacts. There's even haptics here for celebrating your team's goals or feeling the sting of the opponent's scoring. This mod does work for both the PC and Quest versions of Echo VR. Note that for the Quest version, you will need a PC running the B Haptics player, although it doesn't need to be a VR ready PC, just any kind of PC running the B Haptics player on the same network that you're on. Now, the mod's author, who goes by the name Not Blue, has done an amazing job of making this mod very simple to use, and whether you're on PC or Quest, you should be up and running in just a matter of minutes. Let's show you how to get this mod up and running so you can experience Echo VR with a level of immersion like you've never had before with Behaptics. Here we go. The first step, of course, is to make sure that Echo VR is installed and updated on your perspective platform. Click on the GitHub link in the description below to be taken to the download of the Behaptics mod. Go ahead and download this file and then extract the folder to a safe place on your computer. While the file is extracting, open up your Behaptics player and connect your Behaptics device. Once it's downloaded and extracted, click on this file folder and open and run haptic.exe. When you launch the program, you'll be greeted with this interface that says Echo Arena VR at the top. Now we just need to interact with a couple of these fields before we get started. At this point, it should show that the B Haptics player is connected in this first box. Next, click on the Find IP button, and here in the box, type in the name of the platform that you're playing on, Quest with a capital Q or capital P, capital C for PC. If you're playing on PC, it should say local host in the IP box. And if you're on Quest, you'll see an IP address here. The next prompt will ask you to enter your Oculus player name, and it is important to make sure that you enter your name accurately as it appears on the Oculus app. The settings options here allows you to customize your haptic experience, but I would recommend coming back to this after trying the default settings. Now it's time to go ahead and launch Echo VR. Once you're in game, navigate to the settings menu, scroll over to the net status settings, and make sure that you enable API access here on this menu. And with that final step, the game should be able to connect with the mod and you will experience haptic feedback when you enter a match. Now at the moment, the haptics only work during a live actual match, so you won't be getting haptic feedback in the in-game lobbies or even in the time before the match starts. So please keep that in mind. If you don't think it's working, get into a real game and when you get into the match, the haptics should be enabled and you'll be able to feel players grabbing you. You'll feel yourself slam off the walls. It is an amazing experience. Shout out to the mod author, Not Blue, for making this amazing game even more exciting and immersive with this great new B-Haptics mod. Now, if you wanna try this mod for yourself, but you're looking for a team, what better place to look than the B-Haptics Discord? I'll leave a link in the description below, and we would love for you to come and join our haptic family. Until the next video, everyone, take care.